Hi everyone, I am Shweta Chaitanya, Oracle Trainer. In this video, I want to cover one very very important interview question that is finding second maximum salary. I want to find second maximum salary now without using subquery. I want to do this one. See here. For example, here EMP table is there. This is EMP table. It is having one column, salary column. I want to find second maximum salary now. So here. According to this data, 7000 is the maximum salary and this 6000 is the second maximum salary. This second maximum salary we want to find without using subquery. This is our requirement. So for this, I want to select all salaries from EMP table. So I am writing the query like this. Select salary from EMP, select salary from EMP. We get all salaries now. Okay, I want to arrange these salaries in the descending order. Arrange these salaries in descending order. So, to arrange these salaries in descending order, use order by clause, right like this, order by. Which column values we want to arrange in descending order? Salary, so write salary. To arrange in descending order, write DSC. So now these salaries we get in descending order. So we get like this. IS salary 7000. Next IS salary 6000. Next 5000, 3000, 2000 like this. So now salaries arranged in descending order. Our requirement is getting this second maximum salary. So first row display we want to skip now. So, to skip, we use offset class, use offset class. Using offset class, we can skip the rows. Then we want to fetch next row here. So, to fetch the row, we use fetch class, use fetch class here. So, we do not want to get this first row. So, that is why I am writing offset. How many rows we do not want to get? One row. So, right, offset one row. Next, we want to get next one row here. Next one row only we want to get. So, to fetch the rows, use fetch class. Fetch next one row only. Like this, right. Fetch next one row only. Now, what happens here? First, it selects all salaries, arranges in descending order. So, we get output like this. From this, it skips first row display and fetches next row, means we get second maximum salary 6000 here. So, up to here, okay. But here, one problem is there. We are getting second maximum salary up to here, okay. But one problem is there. What is the problem? See here, for example, three employees are getting maximum salary 7000. If three employees are getting maximum salary 7000, now if we arrange in descending order, now three 7000 values are there. So now if you fetch second row, if you fetch second row, you get 7000 here. You are getting wrong output now. So that is why we have to select distinct salaries here. So to select distinct salaries, use the clause distinct. So, select distinct salary from EMP, order by salary descending order, offset one row, fetch next one row only. It finds second maximum salary. Because of this distinct class, these duplicates are eliminated. So, it selects distinct salaries. Those will be arranged in descending order. Because of offset one row, skips first row display. Because of fetch next one row only, it fetches next one row. So, we are getting second maximum salary 6000. This time copying this query. Observe here. Here EMP table is there. Just observe the table data. Select star from EMP. So, now here salaries are there. I want to find second maximum salary. So, to find second maximum salary, just time copying that query here. We are getting second maximum salary 6000. 
And using this query, not only second maximum salary, to find fifth maximum salary, or tenth maximum salary, or hundredth maximum salary, any maximum salary you can find. For example, if you want to find this fifth maximum salary, so four rows display, we have to skip now. Then fetch next one row. So for this right, offset four rows. Then fetch next one row only. We get fifth maximum salary. I am copying this query. Observe the output. We are getting fifth maximum salary. Suppose if you want to get tenth maximum salary, offset nine rows. Fetch next one row only. If you want to get hundredth maximum salary, offset ninety nine rows. Fetch next one row only. So this is the query to find nth maximum salary without using subquery. <laughs>